Over the last 10 years, over 15 million forest hectares have been destroyed and turned into cultivation soil by fires caused by man, with several of them being occasionally wild, or to a lesser degree, by natural causes. It is in the countries which have the best education and income where this extinction is connected with socio-economic development, but they assert further reforestation plans in motion. Costa Rica and Panama, with better income, have had a net deforestation equal to zero. Guatemala and Honduras, with less income, suffer from spectacular deforestation. A significant destruction of the Amazonian rainforest, mainly in Brazil, where in the last months of 10 to 12 there was double deforestation in the worst in the same period in 10 to 11. In the period 2010 to 10, an area equivalent to Central America has been lost. South America and Africa are the ones with the greatest net loss of forests. Wood exploitation, which moves to $124 billion. Slash and burn agriculture by small farmers and extensive agriculture contribute to the problem because of carbon dioxide and methane emissions and the need for greater surfaces. Cattle racing, which is a key factor in deforestation. Together with agriculture, these are the main causes due to deliberately started fires which occasionally go wild. Natural causes like bushfires. They could become extinct in a hundred years' time. Imagine what a world without vegetation could involve. They also help to preserve the hydrological cycle. With no trees, rainforest and forest will become arid deserts. They are crucial in the absorption of gases responsible for global warming. Forest soils are humid, but they can quickly become dry without the protection of an arboreal cover. First and most urgent is to interrupt the cutting down, quickly and simply, though the current financial situation makes this solution quite unlikely. Encouraging tree planting, but be careful. That is not the panacea for it. Not always do trees take roots, and they take many years to grow, increasing the number of protected forest areas. The quickest solution would be to interrupt the cutting down, which should be balanced by planting young trees that replace the oldest ones.